So, I'm back with another video. This will be a NASCAR update. There's a lot of new stuff going on with NASCAR. Um, let's get it kicked off by um, those of you who know who Tony Stewart is. He is a retired NASCAR driver, team owner now of four cars, the 4, the 14, the 41, and the 10. And he's retired, and he will be coming back to an, to an, an Xfinity race at um, a new track this year for the Xfinity Series, the Indianapolis Road Course, something the Cup Series will not be doing for at least another year. Um, he'll be running there in his own two Stuart Haas car, It'll be his own car. He'll be owning it. He'll be doing everything with it. So that'll be... He only owns like one other car in the Xfinity Series, so he's got plenty of room for there. Unlike Cup Series, he has no room there. He can only own four cars. Um, NASCAR Clash for number two is being changed. It will not be a random race at Daytona the week before the Daytona 500. It will be moved to Tuesday because it is Super Bowl the week before because obviously the Super Bowl will take all the views away from NASCAR, and it will be useless. Nobody will be watching it. And the NASCAR Clash will not be at the regular Daytona race. It will be at the Daytona road course where the Rolex 24, the 24-hour race races, almost the exact same road course, possibly the exact same amount. No, they didn't uh, give away the track yet, but um, maybe they did. I just didn't see it yet, but that's where they are, they will be racing for the Clash. That's different. Um the new package that they'll be running, I'll get into that about the next gen car. They will be running the 2020 package, the 2020 body of the car. They will not be running the 2021 new gen, next gen car. They will, they will not be running that. It'll be the last race in this aero package. The new aero package will start at the Daytona 500. But moving on to the next gen car, not confirmed yet, but there may be a fifth gear, 18 inch wheels. And the only reason. They um they also have one lug nut, and the reason they went to one lug nut is because they wanted to go to bigger wheels, 18-inch wheels. The only way they could do that is with one lug nut. So it'll be one big, huge lug nut instead of five around the regular tire. Um, Kevin Harvick is also having a bounty since Kyle Busch is dominating the truck series when he races. He'll be giving away, I think it's $100,000, him, and he's giving away 50 k and somebody else giving away 50 k so 100 k if one of these drivers can be Kyle Busch, the drivers who have accepted the challenge is Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, and Eric Jones so far. Eric Jones announced earlier this week that he'll be doing it. Elliott and Larson have been known to do this for at least a week now. The Kevin Harvick bounty is the winner, who or whoever can beat Kyle Busch in a truck race will be given 100 k Because Kyle Busch is dominating these races, fans are not liking it, they wanted to change something up. So Kevin Harvick, of all people, a cup series driver in the four car racing for Stuart Haas um is making that bounty something that has been known for a while I just figured I'd throw it in there um my boy Jimmy Johnson's retiring at the end of the season that sucks but he is getting seated for an IndyCar race so he may be doing a few IndyCar races this year maybe next year maybe he'll be doing the Indianapolis 500 just a thought um that's a possibility um, so Jimmy Johnson retiring, but he is getting seated for an IndyCar race, and he's talked about wanting to go back to his old roots racing off-road in his trucks, which is the pain scheme he threw back to last year in Darlington. So, he may be going to IndyCar now. He is retiring after this year for sure. Hopefully he can win a race, have a shot at the championship, have a good last year since the last two have struggled. But, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and peace out, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment.